Kelly and I've been a coach for almost four years. There's Leo. And when I started coaching, my why was to get in really awesome shape and lose the baby weight and earn an income doing it. I wanted to earn enough of an income that I wouldn't have to go back to the job that I just didn't love after my maternity leave ended and Leo was a year old. So how has that changed? Approaching four years, I still want the financial independence. That is always something that I've I've craved is to be financially independent, to pay off debt, to be able to travel when and where I want without worrying about cost, to take my family to Disneyland every year if we want to do that. No questions asked. But paired with that is this huge passion for helping people like you realize your true potential but also get unstuck because that's how I felt before I found coaching. I felt stuck financially and physically and this has helped with all of it and mentally too. It's a huge thing for me is I changed physically. I changed mentally. I'm a different person than I was when I started as a coach and financially has changed as well too. And we have this house that we just built where like three and a half to four years ago, was so far from being in the cards, it's crazy to even think about it. I'm so grateful for that. So my why has evolved to help other people realize what this can do for them and help them grow their business too and enjoy life and be excited about their job. Okay, what is up? So I actually just went over my why in my head and it got me all fired up. So I'm gonna share with you guys um, my why for coaching. So my name is Katie, I've been coaching for just over three years. And actually my why has changed over the three years. There's been different things that have been driving me to keep going day in and day out. So when I first started, it was because I just needed something for myself. Um, I always went to the gym with my husband, but it was always kind of his plan. And sometimes I just didn't want to go and it wasn't that exciting. So I got into coaching and I found something for me. It was my own thing. We both would still work out. Uh, it was perfect. And then I kept coaching and the accountability, like that was huge for me. So having something for me and the accountability, those were like two reasons why I loved coaching and I just kept doing it. I could never give it up. So now that I'm just over three years in, I've had a taste of the financial side, and that is definitely a huge driving force for my why now. Um, my husband and I are looking at building a house, so I want to be able to build a house and not have the stress of all of the expenses that come with building a house. Um, and if anything, coaching has taught me to dream big and go for it. So when I think about living a life with, with my kids and my family, I want to do all those things. I want to travel. I want to live big. Um, and you need finances to do that. So that is a huge part of my why. That's it. Hi everyone, so I'm Rai. I am a full-time senior policy advisor with the government here in Toronto. Um, I'm a mom and I have been a part-time coach for about two years. And my why is so simple. It's for the longest time, all I was was a mom and I had this full-time job and I didn't feel like I had anything for me. That was all I did was I was a mom and I worked and I had nothing else. I had no hobbies. Um, I have friends obviously, but like I didn't have anything that was just for me that I could put my like energy into and my passion into. So I had 20 pounds to lose and I thought, you know what, if I can hold myself accountable, meet some awesome people and earn a little side income for our family to go on vacation, that was like a driver enough for me. So that's how it all began. And honestly, my why has stayed the same. It just has like bigger motivation now. So not only has this become this side hobby, it's now a successful little side business that benefits not only me, but my family too. I'm Lindsay and I have been a coach now for three years and my why has developed over time. Um, I worked in the corporate world doing HR and I was just super stuck. Um, I was on maternity leave with my second son and I just didn't really feel like I had anything for me and I wanted to be a part of something. I wanted to be a part of a community. I wanted to have more friends. So I initially joined for the community and within the first week of this business, it turned into so much more than that. It turned into an answer for my family. Um, money was really, really tight when we had our second son, I was on maternity leave and my husband was laid off from a contract. So my why really turned into this 
being an answer for my family to bring in additional income. And I had no idea what the potential of this business would be, but I knew if I committed and I showed up and I made it a priority, pretty crazy things could happen. And fast forward to now, I am now a full-time coach. Um, I'm on my way to building a six-figure business and my why has developed into this. It is just something that I can pour myself into that can create the life that I want for my family, that doesn't give us um, limitations, that has me waking up every day fired up to help more people and share this with more people. So my why is, God, my why is so expansive, but it's also the little things like being able to have my family go out for dinner on a Friday night without having to worry about or stress about what's in the bank account or being able to have fresh flowers on my table every week. It's those little things too. And this business has definitely created that for me and I am not stopping anytime. Hey guys, my name is Alexandra Taylor and I have been a coach since the end of January 2016. And I jumped into coaching mainly because I wanted to work on my health and fitness, but I was looking for something for me, selfishly for me. I was a busy mama with two kids, competitive sports, a husband that travels, not a lot of me time. In fact, the time that I did spend on me was just riddled with guilt because I felt like I didn't deserve to have that time for me. Um, and so when I decided to jump in as a health and fitness coach, I was terrified, um, I was nervous, but I was excited to jump outside of my comfort zone, something that I had really never done before. And it was the support of the community of coaches, my friends that I had made, and all of that compounded together that really helped me step outside of that comfort zone and have just have fun with it. Like a mom in her 40s for the first time just having so much fun. Um, was amazing and I am a better mom I'm a better wife I am a better friend because of this opportunity it keeps getting better every single day hi I'm Bianca MacArthur I have been coaching since October of 2015 um so why why am I coaching um well, I got into this as a fluke. I initially said no, no way. Um, but I had got results from doing the workout, following the nutrition plan. Um, I lost 40 pounds and people were asking what I was doing and um, if they could do it with me. So I said, why not? So I took a leap of faith and tried and I'm still here. So why am I still here? Well, it's definitely the ultimate accountability. Um, it keeps me on my toes. Um, I'm still learning every day about, you know, healthy living and in eating um so that's amazing um it's fun um i've met some amazing people who've become really close friends and um it definitely fills my bucket every day to help other people uh figure this journey out and uh get themselves healthy and get their families um also healthy so um it's a great gig um i'm a full-time teacher so i do this on the side but i do it for something for me um i enjoy it um so essentially that's it um that's my why <laughs> thanks Hey, so my why has kind of changed over the years. It started um, with me needing the extra accountability so that I could get myself back, so that I could have someone extra and something extra. Literally coaching is the ultimate accountability. So I needed that. And what happened is that I had all the positive vibes coming towards me, all these cheerleaders coming towards me that I never knew were in my corner supporting me. Um, and it, I needed it. The wives kind of stayed the same. It's for my family. But the reason was me getting sane, me getting mental health, me getting healthy and fit and losing that 25 pounds and, and just feeling more confident, feeling more happy in myself. Not because I lost the weight, but because I knew I did something that was hard and I accomplished it and I pushed through. Um, and it's changed over the years. It's been two years in January, um, but it's changed into my family having me back and me being able to make that difference in someone else's life because it's been so huge for us. It's helping my marriage. It's, it's being able to have more better communication because I'm busier, because I have things that I am so passionate about and are so um, important that I schedule them. So I need to be more communicative big word of the day. Um, it's, it's just, my why is my family and this has changed our lives for the better.
Hey, I'm Julie. I have been coaching for about three years and my why is it's kind of interesting when I really factor it down. So I got involved in coaching because I had such great results a week in after trying so many different things out there um, that I really felt this desire to share it with other people. And I didn't really think through what other great things would come my way with the coaching opportunity. I really just wanted to share it with other moms. And then um, I quickly learned about how great it felt to help other people. I have an amazing full-time job, but I'm not out there helping people, helping them gain years on their life, helping them benefit their whole family, um, you know, with their coaching business or with their health journeys. So it, uh, it, it that kind of became my why is just that sense of doing more with my life and the other great thing for me that is my why is that it's extra money for our family so it's our trip money we love to travel um, and this has allowed me to go on multiple trips um, for the last three years without even thinking about it or feeling guilty so uh, my why's have kind of changed through the time but um, it's all such great positive stuff Hey guys, I'm Natasha. Um, I am a full-time speech pathologist in the Ottawa area, and I'm also a full-time mom <clears throat> to one toddler. Um, and my why uh, it has changed since I've started. When I first started, my why was for accountability. I had big goals for weight loss, and I knew I was going back to work, and I needed something to keep me accountable towards those goals. <clears throat> But as I started working with people and helping them with their transformation and growing my team and growing my business, I realized the potential that um, this business has. And so since starting two years ago, my, my new why is I want to be able to only have to work part time. I love my job as a medical speech pathologist, but I, my ideal would be only having to work you know, two or three days a week and then having coaching be my other source of income with the ultimate goal of paying down, paying off my school debt completely. That is my dream. Um, and to be able to take off some of that financial load and really have that financial freedom. Everything else that comes along with coaching is just a bonus, that sense of self, that sense of community, that sense of self, of, that sense of worth um, that you get from helping somebody become the best version of themselves that's like that's just nothing feels like that so that that is my why hi there my name is tara satorius and i am a coach building her business while working full-time for the canadian government how do i do this through daily consistency and finding small pockets of time in my day check out my office this lunch hour so I build my business in the mornings, early when the kids are sleeping, I'm a single mom. I build my business on the bus, commuting downtown Ottawa twice a day, back and forth. And I build my business at lunch, coming to awesome locations like Parliament Hill. It can be done, just choose consistency and make the time work for you. You want it, you can do it.